Hello and welcome to our A Shampoo Video Optimizer Pro video tutorial. Video Optimizer allows you to enhance, stabilize, denoise and crop your videos among other things. In the following minutes, you'll learn how to add more vividness and vibrance to your videos using both the quick and advanced mode in Video Optimizer Pro. First, I'll show you how to work in quick mode. This mode requires that you already know exactly which aspects of your video you want to optimize. Quick Mode then helps you apply your optimizations in just a few steps. First, launch the program and drag the video you wish to optimize into the application. Newly added videos are displayed in Quick Mode by default with a small preview area on the left, followed by the available optimization tools. These include various one-click functions, like sharpening or denoise. Video effects are applied through a dedicated selection dialog. In this example, I'll use the glow effect to better emphasize the colors in my video and add a soft blue. Afterwards, I'll click OK to confirm my selection. Quick Mode also supports cropping. To clip the beginning of a video, use the preview to find the position for your cut. Then click Current Frame to mark that position as the new beginning for your video. You can use the same approach to clip the end of a video. You can even process multiple videos at once in quick mode. I'll now demonstrate how to add additional videos, enhance their sharpness, remove image noise and then apply an effect. Afterwards, I'll trim my videos. To trim the beginning, I'll use the preview to find the position I want and click Current Frame to set the beginning of the video to the currently visible frame. You can use the same approach to trim the end of a video. In the interest of time, we'll fast forward through the adjustments for the third video. Once I've adjusted everything to my liking, I'll export the videos. First, I'll press Ctrl A to select them. I can then change the output location if needed. Finally, I'll click Export Selection to export the files. Next, I'll show you how to work with Advanced Mode. Since I'll be using a different video this time, I've closed the other files. First, I click Advanced to switch to Advanced Editing Mode. Functions listed on the right apply to the entire video. The preview area is now located in the center. The navigation pane is located on the left and allows you to switch between all open videos. For demonstration purposes, I've opened an additional video. Advanced mode offers additional optimization features. Click a function name to reveal the available settings. I need to increase the color saturation and brightness so I'll click Exposure and Colors. I'll then adjust the affected values using the sliders. I'll use the preview as a before and after view by toggling the modifications on and off. 
You can use sections to apply modifications like time-lapse effects to individual portions of a video only. I'll now show you how to apply a slow motion effect to the current section. First, I locate the start position using the preview window and stop playback at that position. Next, I click the arrow to place the start marker. I then repeat these steps for the end position. Optimization functions for individual sections are accessible through the pencil icon. Since I want to modify the playback speed, I check the corresponding box to reveal the available settings. I then set the speed to one quarter and click OK to apply my setting. I'll now create an additional section to apply the time-lapse effect. First, I click Add another section and use the arrows to align its start position with the end position of the previous section. This ensures the slow motion effect will seamlessly blend into the time-lapse effect. Next, I set the end position for the effect by clicking the timeline followed by the arrow to place my end marker. Finally, I open the speed settings once again, select 4 times normal speed and click OK to apply the effect. Since I've decided to also add a blossom effect to my video, I'll now create another section and use the start arrow to specify the start position for the effect. Then, I once again click the timeline and use the end arrow to specify its end. Afterwards, I open the section's optimization settings, select the blossom effect and click OK. I'll now add one more section to demonstrate how to switch between multiple effects in a video. I'll first create the section, adjust the start and end positions, select the effect I want from the settings dialog and then click OK to apply it. I don't want any individual optimization effects in the final portion of the video, so I'll insert another section to neutralize the effect from the previous section. I'll then adjust color saturation, strength and exposure settings globally to apply them to the entire video. As before, I have to manually specify the start and end positions for the new section. The total video length is now determined by the start position of the first section and the end position of the last section. Finally, I need to preview my modifications before I export the video. Therefore, I move the playback marker to the start position and click play. Portions that won't show up in the final video, because of trimming, will appear darker and display a crossed out symbol. Once I'm satisfied with the result, I'll save the video. You can either save each section individually or combine them into a single video. I'll choose the second option and click Export Selection. The video will then be saved to the folder I selected at the beginning. That's it for today's video. If you like this video, give us a thumbs up. What other tutorials would you like to see from us? Use the comment section to give us your feedback. Thanks for watching and see you in the next A-Shampoo video tutorial.